My name is Scott McIntosh, and I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior right about this time two years ago, shortly after coming to FCC for the first time. Um, I grew up in a household where God or religion was just not mentioned at all. But I did grow up in, um, in a religious neighborhood, more or less, an Italian Catholic section of Trenton, um, where most of my friends were altar boys and attended Catholic school. So uh, when I was younger, you know, I was curious about God, and I always believed in God, even though I was never brought up uh, with any, you know, understanding of God. When I was 11 years old, my parents were divorced, and um, it was kind of tough. When I was 14 years old, I started hanging around with a different bunch of kids, and um, they all attended uh, a different Catholic school, and I really, really wanted to go to school with them. I wanted my mother to let me go there, and she wouldn't let me go there. Um, so I did what any 14-year-old kid doesn't get his way. You know, I, uh, I left her house and moved in with my dad so uh, I could go to that school. Got what I wanted, and I was going to that school, and um, everything was going fine for a while. And um, a few years later, when I was 17 years old, my father died of a heart attack very, very suddenly. Um, you know, over the few years that I lived with him, we uh, developed a great relationship. We uh, became best friends. I hung out with him all the time, and uh, I enjoyed spending time with him. So I was really devastated. Um, emotionally, um, and it just really, um, I was really numb for, for quite a while. Going through high school, I, um, you know, I turned away from God. I, I really stopped going, and I kind of fell into a, a bout with drought, drugs and alcohol. You know, I just slipped into that. Um, I battled addiction for the next 15 years. Um, you know, the disease of addiction is uh, described best for me as a, a soul sickness and that, that's what was really going on with me um you know my disease wouldn't allow me to be the man that i wanted to be you know the, the the brother or the son or the friend you know or the even the employee that i wanted to be and it was just a torturous torturous time um by the grace of god i stumbled into a 12-step fellowship when i was 32 years old and actually got sober um, it wasn't, wasn't very easy at first. I, uh, kind of fought it for a while. And, um, on July 9th of 1998 was the day that I got sober and stayed sober. Um, a few, a few weeks into my sobriety, um, you know, I just had a turning point in my life and my relationship with God. I had an emotionally, mostly trying day, you know, emotional warfare going on in my head. And I, um, I really feared that I was going to relapse. Before I did, though, a moment of clarity came to me. And um, a thought or something that I remembered someone saying in a meeting about prayer came into my mind. And um, what I did was I was down the shore with a bunch of friends. And I went up to my bedroom. And I got on my knees. And I just said the most honest and sincere prayer that I could come with, come up with at that time. And um, what happened was just miraculous. It is um, beyond my description. You know, when I got up from my knees and stood up, I, um, I just felt like a free man. I knew I was free. Um, I knew I was going to be okay. So the thought of a drink or a drug has not um, been an issue for me since. I also had a friend that I got sober with named Frank, who's, who comes to FCC. And shortly after that time, when he started coming here, he was encouraging me to come, um, just to check it out. And uh, like I said, I, I lived in the Trenton area, and um, it just seemed inconvenient for me to come here. You know, it was a half hour away. It just didn't make sense. So I resisted for a while, and um, Frank was lovingly persistent. You know, I resisted for a while, and then two, two years ago, uh, I came to the Nativity, and um, I was in incredibly inspired. You know, um, just, just the, the, perf the uh, performance of the Nativity and just the effect it had on me um, really moved me, and uh, I started coming to services shortly after that. And um, it, it, I really, really uh, loved it from the very start. 
it was totally, you know, the worship was totally new to me and it was totally um, inspiring. Uh, I just really was excited about coming here. Like I said, I had a relationship with God, but I did not have one with his son, nor did I know that I needed one. You know, I, my idea of getting into heaven was, you know, I had a scorecard and um, my sins were, you know, pitted up against my good deeds. So when I heard about, you know, Jesus Christ can be my Lord and Savior and, um, and that's how all I have to do is accept him and uh, I get into heaven, um, I just pulled Mark, Pastor Mark aside after one of the services and I said, I just came out and asked him, um, how can it be that easy? Pastor Mark gave me a, um, a little booklet and I read it over it and to summarize it, it simply said this, that you know, good people don't get into heaven, forgiven people do. And um, that kind of that kind of made sense to me, you know. Um, so since that time, you know, I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And um, along the way, with being friends with Frank and getting to know other people in fellowship, I was introduced to Brennan and Kathleen. I was introduced to their ministry uh, of the church plant in Trenton, my hometown. And I've just been blessed to... Um, to walk with Christ with them in this ministry. It's been a great, great learning experience. Um, and my relationship with, with my Lord and Savior has just uh, really, really improved since, um, since being a part of that. Since doing the ministry in, um, in Trenton and uh, really learning about, you know, a, a little bit about the history and diving into the Bible, it really just made me want to um, make this declaration of my, uh, my change in my heart for Jesus Christ. Um, that's the reason that I want to get baptized today. Um, just to show the people that I love how God has entered my heart and just what he has done in my life.